Hello everyone, this is Gajanand and you are watching Take to Drown See. In this video, I will teach you more about forms in Boost Step 4. So, previous part, we have understood many things about forms in Boost Step 4. So, if you didn't see, uh, you can check out my previous video on forms, right? So, in this video, we will understand the custom radio buttons, uh, uh, custom checkbox radio button, custom file upload button, and many things we will understand in this tutorial. So, let's get started to create a project and understand these things, right? So, this is my plain blank empty project, and here I will write a code to understand. Uh, uh, radio button checkbox and custom file upload button right so let's put it a form and form text should be closed like this and inside we want to uh, put a input type checkbox input type checkbox like this check box right and give a uh, sorry before to give a class uh, to this checkbox to make a custom uh, just uh, run the application and see how it looks so this is a checkbox right you can see but it's not a custom right this is a default checkbox so what we have to do for making custom just put it a class and uh, uh, this is a custom uh, control input right so uh, put it id of this checkbox this is my check control s for save and let's make it label uh, for this checkbox so la b e l label and label should be closed like this right and label give it a label of this checkbox is my check and check me and anything you can put it here and give a class of a custom uh, control label like this right and this checkbox is for uh, is for uh, my check which is this one just copy and paste it here right so when we refresh you can see a checkbox sorry when you refresh you can see a checkbox but it's coming it here right and my check is here right so both the uh, are not related to each other the content the label and the checkbox right so it's not look good right so what we have to do we have to wrap this content inside a div right so control x and make it a div like this and div should be close like this div should be close and inside this div we have to copy and paste right so this content but we have to give a class of this container so so the class is custom uh, control custom custom control um, which is this one and custom checkbox right custom uh, custom checkbox which is this one right control s for save and when you refresh you can see your checkbox is here right so it's look perfect right and this is a custom checkbox through booster 4 right in a form right so let's understand uh, a radio button right let's copy this same content right and paste it here and this is for radio right and let's copy this one and put it a uh, custom control input and uh, uh, this is for sorry custom control yeah this is a radio right control s for save and let's remove this one and uh, put it a radio a button and anything it you want right so control s for save and let's uh, this is my check so you can put it a my radio like this control s for save and copy this one and paste it here right control s for save and refresh so you can see now we have checkbox and radio button so the last thing is uh, not the last but uh, this is a, a custom a file upload button right so let's copy and paste the same thing but we want to give another class of this uh, button custom file right so just put it custom file custom file which is this one right and you have to give a file input type file and a custom file input right f e l e oh, sorry f i l e right custom file uh, input yeah so what we have to do uh, just this is just put uh, my file my sorry my file my file and copy this id uh, and this label is for and upload a file upload a file like this Control S for save and when you refresh you can see a uh, custom sorry uh, it's not like good right so this is for file Control S for save and refresh so now you can see this is a custom file when you click you can browse a, 
uh, directory and file uh, to upload right and uh, next thing is we want to make a um, read only input right in a form uh, uh, in a bootstrap form right so how we will do the read only uh, uh, input right so let's put it a uh, read only only re readable a value right we want we uh, uh, we don't give any uh, value through a form right so just a read only you can understand what is a read only right so let's make it an input uh, type uh, you can text and you can uh, do anything with this right so the read only is uh, input type text and the class is form control form control right and uh, give a placeholder and placeholder is uh, read only uh, read uh, only uh, data right and uh, when you refresh right when you refresh you can see right but now it's readable right so what we have to do just we have to make a, a attribute uh, just read only right like this and just you have to put this attribute right control s for save and refresh so now you don't need to put uh, i mean uh, it's it's disabled right it's not taking any value uh, uh, through our keyboard and anything right so this is called a read only uh, read only input right so uh, let's understand the sizing right uh, uh, sizing of our input so this is a form right so you can see this is a, a form uh, this is a read only of uh, form input and we want to decide the size of our our input so what we have to do there are two types of uh, uh, form control lg and form control sm right so form Control LG, which is this one, means large. Control S for save, and you can see this is a large, right? This is a large button, uh, large input, right? You can give any, uh, you can give this class to any of your forms uh, input, right? So this is LG, and the second one is the SM, means a small. Control S for save, and you can see this is small. By default, is a small, right? Uh, sorry, default is not a small. By default, it's not a small, just a medium, right? So let's remove this one. Sorry, let's remove this one, this class. Yeah. Form control SM. Let's remove this class, and you can see this is a medium, right? So there are SM and LG, right? Means large and small, right? So it's a, uh, it's pretty good right so today we have understood many things about the forms uh, in booster force if you like this video you can subscribe my channel and what do you think about this let me know what you uh, yeah let me know right so if you have any questions and doubt you can uh, write a comment i'm here to uh, resolve your problem and uh, uh, please please subscribe my channel so thanks for watching have a nice nice day see you soon